So we're just going to pull him out slowly. Wow, what a beautiful... I, I have no idea how long he was or she was in the water. Honestly, I love making videos. I just want to make sure the videos I make are worth your time. I know finding a red rat snake may not be the most extraordinary creature you ever saw. But I try to put the video together in a way that is the most interesting way it can be put together. I've watched so many other YouTubers fall off or change their channel name. Especially in the wildlife net. I was kind of running out of new creatures to share with y'all. I guess we call it a lull. I was just heading back into the forest of the monarch when a bright yellow bird. I mean bright flew right in front of me and landed on my fence post, instantly remembering that yellow cardinal I showed you. Having just enough time to stare at it and realize that this cardinal wasn't a cardinal at all. It was some other species of yellow bird, so I immediately grabbed my camera and searched for it. The lighting was horrible. I heard some chirps in the woods, only to find out they were Carolina wrens. A call I should have easily recognized because I often find them in my shed. Really feeling kind of bummed that I didn't locate this yellow bird. The extra time I took to locate a new species of bird and come up with nothing it made me really question what I was I was kind of disappointed I mean I, I just wondered if I even should be making wildlife videos anymore I spotted a beautiful yellow bird this one actually but it wasn't the one I saw on the fence post I caught this decent photo of it and then a ruby-throated hummingbird came by and I said it'd be cool to take a photo of that. Then it flew to the front of my house to which it started to get the nectar from this beautiful red cantaloupe. By the time I set focus, you can see how far away the hummingbird actually was from the flower. So I glanced down and then I realized that this is a sign. If this isn't a clear enough sign, I don't know what is. If you live here in the Sunshine State, chances are pretty high you've seen a snake. Or a lot. Mm -hmm. There are 50 species of snakes here in Florida and some of them are venomous. So you need a plan if you are ever bitten. I was out here taking photographs of birds on my front porch. I glanced down in my garbage can and I literally see. What that means is we got to reach down in this garbage can try to save this snake's life. He would have definitely died if she So we can pull him out slowly. What a beautiful, I, I have no idea how long he was or she was in the water, but I mean, that is a freaking miraculous snake. One of the most beautiful snakes I've ever seen um, here in Florida. Ooh, did you take a As excited as ever, I decided to post this photo on Instagram. And to my surprise, I actually got a like from one of the guys on Kings of Pain, K-Man Rob. Maybe he's seen my work. I'm not really sure. Let's go get a tape measure so we can see how long this snake actually is. This will be important if I ever come across it again. I estimate the snake to be about 20 inches, which is pretty big considering the record's only 30 inches. This is the most beautiful snake I've ever captured. This is the Scarlet King snake. This snake right here is a snake killer. While many people are concerned of species like coral snakes because they kill people, this snake right here eats other snakes. Now this snake is non-venomous, but it has adapted a special ability to burrow under logs with a shovel pointed nose. It's a very pyramidical shaped head, really sleek skin, not rough textured scales that allow it to easily maneuver under the soil and look for smaller species of snakes like ring neck snakes or uh, pine wood snakes or really any snake that it runs across. But of course it doesn't only eat snakes. It'll eat other invertebrates and it'll also eat um, skinks. And I think it feeds on eggs as well, of small reptiles. Now this one right here, unfortunately, is not the record holding Scarlet King Snake. It is a record for me though, as the longest one I've ever run across. But the record is 30 inches. And this one's, I think it looked like less than two foot. The coral snake has a blunt, rounded nose, and this one has a pointy nose. This one also has a red tip on its nose, and the color pattern is red on black, friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow, and essentially that holds true for about 95% of all coral snakes. There are some exceptions to the red on black, friend of Jack. Some coral snakes are primarily black and yellow. With only a few coral snakes having any color morph that doesn't stay true to that. I'm gonna let this snake go. I wish I could just have him forever because his beauty is truly unrivaled by any other snake here in Florida. Even that beautiful red rat snake I recently showed you. A friendly note came in from Consingus Palpatine 444. 
remind them of the importance of setting reptiles free after catching them. So if I haven't been clear enough, we do not own nature, we do not control nature, we are part of nature, and we depend on nature. Do not let your fears of some creatures cause you to do things that are irreversible. This is why the Florida panther is on the brink of extinction. And even though some creatures have potential to cause harm, does not mean they have the intentions to do so. Let's go before the cicadas are so loud that we can't even hear my words anymore. If we harm creatures with the potential to do harm, where does that put us? And if you see a creature you don't actually understand, admire it from a safe distance. If you see a snake that's going to drown in a trash can, let it free. Suffering is the worst of all outcomes. If you see an animal in your presence, that means that animal has adapted with other creatures in a process called coevolution. The snake could potentially be a food source for other creatures and keeping some other nuisance creatures in check. Even venomous snakes like the coral snake have their place in the ecosystem. You just have to be bigger than your fears and never keep a wild caught animal in captivity. Just set the animal free and you will feel a huge weight lifted off your shoulders. Red on black for the jack. Red on yellow probably won't kill you fellow, but it could be dangerous. The reality is, coral snakes and all other snakes, including the venomous ones, are extremely important to our very precious, delicate ecosystem. The reality also is that their delicate, precious ecosystems are disappearing exponentially, faster and faster. As human population climbs, the amount of wild places that once harbored these species is dwindling. Luckily, there are enough wild places out there giving us herpetologists and conservation this opportunity to experience and share our experiences with other people about these wild creatures. We're gonna put him out here. Lots of underbrush for him to crawl into on this side. So we'll let him be right there. And this is his chance to just get away from us. Do they have predators? I will say that, uh, of course, uh, most hawks and stuff like that will eat something like that. I will say that is my first time ever holding a venomous snake species. And it was quite thrilling and ex exciting experience. And uh, I'm glad I was able to do that finally. Uh, this is one that I felt more comfortable holding than any other like pit viper or something like that. So, and that's the first one I've ever caught. So that's pretty cool too. I've never actually caught a coral snake. I've seen dead. Oh man. It's another casualty of the ones road. and stuff like that. But to be able to catch one it was a true honor. Make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel if you uh, like stuff like this. And we'll see you next time right here in the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy. But you should click on this video if you want to learn just a little bit more about some snakes here in Florida.